All right, so I think we should go ahead and put the CPU in, in the memory. Um, you know, I like to do all these things ahead of time because if you go ahead and run your cables first, you never know what you're going to run into. So by getting the CPU, memory, and video card all in first, we'll know what we're working with, you know, how we're going to run the wires, etc. It's just so much easier to go that route. So I think we'll go ahead and start with our FX9590 CPU, which in uh, this one it doesn't come with a heat sink, but it doesn't matter because we have a water cooler for it. So let's go ahead and take that out. Here's our CPU warranty information. Our badge, which I'll save. And for AMD CPUs, they're pretty straightforward. You just lift that little rod right there. Go ahead and look on the chip. And I don't know if you can see those, but there are four little divots. And that's how you line up the CPU with the holes. So you know which, which way it should be oriented, um, which is this way. So just drop it in right there. Boom. That's it. Close it up. There's the CPU. All right, here's our Corsair Vengeance. 32 gigabyte kit, four times eight, 2400 megahertz, DDR3. Pretty wicked. Let's go ahead and uh, open this bad boy up. That is pretty. Look at those. All right. So installing memory is pretty easy. You have these little tabs on the sides. Go ahead and open those up. And they're coming in pairs, so I'm assuming they're paired. And what you're gonna wanna do is take each pair and you wanna put them in the corresponding color pairs. So for the first kit, we're gonna go black and black line it up and press it in. All right. And our next kit. Gray and gray. There's one and two. All right. So there we have our CPU and memory in place. All right, now I think we're gonna go ahead and throw the memory card in, not the memory card. All right, so let's go ahead and put the video card in. And like I said, this is just for the sake of knowing how I'm going to lie out the cables. Come on, baby. These things are always tough to get out. All right. Here's our memory card, or memory card. Here's our video card. There she is. Now, you're always gonna wanna go in that first PCI Express slot. So you just wanna kinda mock it, mock it up right there and then take out the corresponding back plates. So we're gonna have to take out one, two, these two here. 
can go ahead and loosen them up. Those come right out. Now they had warned that you need to take this plastic off ahead of time, so I'm going to go ahead and peel that off. If I can grab it, there we go. Right, and don't forget the little plastic pin cover. You can call it a pin saver. There it is. And these are, once again, really simple. You can only go in one way. Oh, you're going to have to take off these plastic caps before you can feed it through. You won't go through with those on. You can put them back on afterwards, though. There we go. There she is. You go ahead and use the same screws that you took it out with. Oh. Ugh. Try to avoid dropping screws on your board if you can, but it's not always possible. One. Now this is going to be tight. You're going to have to put a little pressure on the video card to get it in the right way. And I think that's intentional. Now once it's in, you're going to want to, you might have to adjust how it's sitting with the back. Make sure you have the ports open so it looks good when it's in. That's tight. Might have stripped it a little bit, but that's okay. All right. That should do it for the video card. We'll go ahead and put everything else back in the box. So at this point, we have motherboard, CPU, memory, video card. Pretty cool. And we're almost ready to start running some wires. But it And here we have our Inatech USB 3 PCI Express expansion card, which is nice. This PCI Express is a wicked fast connector. It's looking like we're going to have to supply additional power to it, though. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure how this works. Do we just add the card? And then what? You can see it's got a USB 3 and SATA connector there. Now why wouldn't this just go straight to the... Uh, oh, I see. I think that's in case we want to run an additional USB 3 card to it. Well, that's cool. All right, so I think we're going to put that on top. Let's go ahead and take this one out here. Oh, here she is, one more time. You can see it's got a USB 3 SATA power connector. I don't know if that's required. I can't imagine. It's got PCI Express pins. 1X, so we'll see what the instructions say. All right. It's in. It's out of the way. That 
that's in place. So I'm going to give this a quick read real quick, see what it says. Yeah. All right, so yeah, those uh, additional ports are completely optional. Everything is powered and connected through the PCI Express slot. So that's good. We don't have to mess around with that. I'm going to take the driver out, though. Okay. There's that. Another one bites the dust. Oh, excuse me. I think we're going to end up putting, well, it looks like our best bet's going to be to put the radiator in the back. Yep, I think so. Yeah, that way we're going to be able to pull all the air off the side panel. All right. So I'm going to move all these to the side because I think we're going to go ahead and put in our optical drive, which is a Blu-ray burner. I'm going to undo all the case cables. Stick them off to the side for now.